Welcome to another weekend edition of the King Mo Show. Today we're going to be talking about wine. I think this is going to be three weekends in a row I'm talking about wine. And so I wanted to provide a little context about wine. A long time ago when I was a young lad, I really only liked white wines. And I just really didn't care for red wines. But a friend of mine, Debbie, um, whenever I was doing an internship at Intel, she let me stay at her house for a couple months. And she introduced me to red wines and I just was not drinking good red wines. So, and I wanna make something clear here. Just because it's expensive, doesn't mean it's a good red wine. So while I was out in California, we went to tons of wineries, uh, lots of different places. Some of my favorite wineries out there were Concanon, uh, the Righteous Rosé. It's a rosé wine, but it's not sweet. It's just phenomenal. It's a great all around wine that you could drink cold. You drink it with whatever you want. Out on the patio, you can have it with a lot of different meats or fish, and it's still gonna be good. Um, they also introduced me, she also introduced me to Ridge. And this is one of my favorite wines from there, Ridge Litton Estate Petite Syrah. As you can see, it's not necessarily a cheap wine, it's about $44. So to me, this is a wine that I would say if I would have, not necessarily on an extremely special occasion, but I'm probably gonna have this with a really great steak dinner or something like that. And it's a big bottle of wine. I'm the only one who drinks red wine at home. So to me, it's a bit of a waste to really open this wine and I don't wanna drink the whole thing. So I'll probably try to find a time when I have someone to share it with. But that takes me back to what we had been discussing on some of the other ones. Instead of buying wine in a bottle, wine in a can. So Amanda at Cork and Board directed me to the, well, I wanted the Asso, but there was a red and a white and uh, she recommended the going for the red. Now, the reason I wanted the Asso, this goes back to California. This here is an Asso. And I never heard of this before I went to California. It is a wine bottle opener. Oh, it has two prongs on it. And I was just like, when they showed it to me, I'm like, what? I, I, I don't get it. Now I'm not gonna actually open this bottle, but what you do is you take the uh, foil off the top, you slide the two prongs down the sides of the cork. You kind of just shimmy it back and forth to work its way down. And then you turn and turn and pull up and it pulls the cork out. And the name comes from, after you see how it's done, you go, ah, so. So whenever I saw there was wine in a can called ah, so, I'm like, I've got to try that one. And I also have faith that, uh, Amanda picks out the wines at Cork and Board, so everything that is there, she's tried. Um, they make sure that it's good. They go for wines that are more natural, not a lot of intervention, so I had a lot of faith in it. And again, it's called Asso, and it's just something that means a lot to me. Reminds me of my days back in California. Uh, so this is a red wine. I'm glancing back because I forgot my notes on this. Uh, it's from Spain, 14.5% um, alcohol by volume. So let's see, this is 250 milliliters. So it's about the third the size of this. I think this was like maybe $6. I don't remember specifically. So again, if it's just me and I just want to have a glass of wine with dinner, this is a perfect thing. And as opposed to the other ones that I had tried, I'm going on faith that this one is gonna be good. Beautiful ruby red color to it. And a, a lot of uh, the berry smells for it. Whenever 
red wines in particular, a lot of them, they have like blackberries and it smells really good. Um, a little bit of tannin in it. The tannin is that tartness that makes you go, Sure, you'll replay that a couple times to get a good feel for that for that picture. But I'm guessing again, six dollars. It's a nice wine that you can have if you don't want to open a whole bottle. Also, this is like really portable. It's you if you're going on a picnic, do you want to bring this heavy bottle? How about some lightweight cans and more and more wines are coming in cans um also you know the the other thing i don't have a lid off so you can't see cork corks can be a, a temperamental thing and so some some nice wines are even going to just screw cap on it because it's going to guarantee to hold the wine without having any leakage and stuff so it'll last a little bit longer so it can age a little bit better i don't know enough about that i from a previous life or from before i thought there was a shortage of cork but i did some research on the internet and my general takeaway is there is not a shortage of cork so that's not one of the things but handy convenient you can find good wines in cans and uh easily to recycle and all that type of stuff. So go out, get yourself a can of wine, enjoy, like, share. And I almost forgot, um, California just was a, a great experience while I was out there, um, made great friends. Uh, Deb was so kind to let me stay with her for a couple months while I was doing the internship. Gary and Charisse, they also took me around and introduced me to lots of different wines and stuff. And that's really what grew my appreciation for wine. It's going out there and trying it and trying different types. And so I encourage you to do the same thing and have a good weekend. Like this, share it, subscribe it. If you own a winery, you can sponsor me. Have a good weekend. Thanks.